Hi, I'm David Farrell. I'm an Applications Engineer for Shirtle Sales and Technology. I always wanted to be in science. I was involved in First Lego League as a child, got practice just with various robotics elements and stuff, and continued that through high school where I participated in First Robotics competition. From then, that sort of solidified my interest in the STEM fields, and engineering seemed like a good direction to go with that, though there was inclinations towards various other things throughout that time as well. Engineers solve problems in ways that utilize math and science. For example, I work in the auto industry, so a lot of the work I have relates to the creation of automobiles in various capacities, whether it's brake systems, whether it's the tailgates for trucks, things like that. All of these pieces come together, all of them have their own aspects of science in it, and they all get drawn together into the final product of the vehicle that you're in. There are a lot of jobs in engineering and it sort of depends on what you're looking for and a lot of what you're passionate about. The big thing is like mechanical engineering is what I am. It's a very broad degree. You get a lot of, you know, the physics aspects of like how materials work, how lots of things work, but it also has aspects of other elements. So other more specialized fields include things like electrical engineering. There's also Aerospace engineering, if you're really into like airplanes and flight and understanding how fluids work and everything. So there's a lot of different broad areas you can get into in engineering. And then when you are actually in one of those broad areas, there are countless different jobs. People can wind up getting into engineering at any point in their life. But usually what is required as far as getting a job is either a lot of hands-on practical experience working your way up under engineers which is relatively rare in engineering, or uh, the more common route is going to a school for a four-year degree or two-year degree if you're looking for associates and then getting more hands-on experience, but getting a degree that basically will help train you in all of these aspects of physics and math and science and everything so you have that base ground to work with. I think it's always worth reiterating that engineering is it's solving problems. It's solving problems with math and science and trying to figure out the best ways you can apply those in order to overcome the challenges that any problem has. It's what takes science and constitutes it into the reality of the world around us. It's a very interesting and fascinating thing for me. And if you have a passion in that, if you enjoy taking and applying math and science in these areas, then look into engineering. It may be right for you.